Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a package to open. Um, it is mid-December right now as I'm filming this, and I have found that the only sure way to get a package here within a reasonable amount of time is to upgrade to better shipping. So uh, this is a package from Blade HQ, which if you're familiar with my history, you'll know they are one of my least favorite retailers to order from. Um, it's not that I despise them at this point. Um, they've been pretty cool to me. But there are just a lot of other retailers that I prefer to shop with. That being said, this knife is one of their exclusives, and it's a knife that I've wanted pretty badly for a while. Ever since I saw it was a thing, I've just thought it was hilarious and genuinely a good idea. And so props to them for making this knife a reality. But it is, of course, the Boker Kalashnikov Dessert Warrior series. Uh, Blade HQ does a Desert Warrior series of knives a lot of the time that are, frankly, really close in color to, um, like, the Rec PM2. They do, like, a tan blade and OD green handle scales, and uh, this is kind of a play on that. The Desert Warrior <laughs> is, uh, instead of a, a desert color scheme, it is a dessert color scheme. So if you're not familiar, you are about to find out. Um, so yeah, I ordered this. I upgraded shipping to the UPS uh, second day air. I stuck into the other end of that package. And because I upgraded it, it showed up in two days. So that is good. On the other hand, I have some packages that I ordered much earlier this month that I ordered ground that have still just like not even updated since being scanned from the post office, one of which it's been like two weeks. So kind of crazy. But in here, we have my newest knife as of today. It is a, this is not a practical purchase. This is not a knife that I bought really to use hard or anything. It's just kind of a joke. It's just funny. And uh, I feel like once your knife collection gets to a certain size, at least for me, there are, practicality becomes less and less important. Like, I have plenty of really practical knives. Not that I'm done getting practical knives. I'm not going to only buy impractical knives from now on. But when your collection's really small, it's more important to make sure that you're getting very practical things because it, you want to have a, a use case for everything that you buy. At least I do, and I did. But once you've got, like, I don't know. I don't know what the number would be. Maybe 10 knives. Maybe 20 for some people. I probably have close to 40 knives at the moment. Um... <laughs> not counting loaders that are here for me to review. And so it's totally justifiable at this point for me to buy some knives that are just for fun, is what I'm trying to say. So the Kalashnikov series of knives come in what looks like an AK mag, kind of. Kind of cool. Um, the box is sealed. Let's see, we've got a safety seal there and there. A um, little barcode on this side. Come on. And a warning label that this knife might give you can Seriously? There it goes. <laughs> um, yeah, so, warning label, safety seals, and, uh, well, that's funny. The safety seals are actually already <laughs> cut. So, there we go. Now, there are two sizes of this knife. There was one that I think was like a three and a half inch blade, and there's like the two and a half inch blade, which is what I got. Um, I would have gotten the bigger one, frankly, but I don't closely follow Blade HQ, and so I, I almost missed this drop entirely. I was like an hour and a half after they had gone live, I think, and all of the bigger ones were gone, but they were still little guys. So this is the smaller version, which honestly, like I said, this knife doesn't need to be practical, so <laughs> I don't need it to be a certain size. It's really just to be funny. Um, so it, it's fine that I didn't get the bigger one. I think this one was a couple bucks less as well because it's smaller, but let's bust it out of here and see what we're working with. So I've actually never even owned a Boker Kalashnikov. I know a lot of people, um, it's kind of their gateway auto because they're very inexpensive out the side automatics that, uh, from what I've heard, are reasonably well built and, and decent quality decent working knives. So they have aluminum scales, which to me in pictures always look like they're rubber, just the way that they like texture them and coat them and all that. But it is aluminum. I can feel it's a metallic body here. Uh, this one you have 
different colored screws and push buttons. So you've got yellow pivot screw, red body screw here, green body screw there, blue body screw back here. The pocket clip is bright blue. Um, and as you can see, it looks like a donut, which <laughs> I think is awesome. I happen to love donuts. And I also legitimately, almost every time that I get donuts, get a cake donut with pink frosting and rainbow sprinkles. It just seems like the right donut to get. And uh, <laughs> no shame there. I love donuts just like this. So let's see how it deploys. It's a snappy little auto. Okay. Um, the finger grooves, a little tight for me because it's the little guy. <laughs> but I'm kind of fitting in if I really squeeze my fingers together. Um, interesting. It says... Automat Kalashnikov 74. Um, got the Boker logo over here. It's an OS 8 steel. This one's numbered uh, 264. So there's at least 264 of these. It's kind of a spear point blade. That looks pretty good. I think it's, I mean, it's just funny. It This could literally have an aluminum blade and it wouldn't matter to me. I got it because it looks like this, not because of the capability of this knife. But uh, I suppose I probably will every now and then carry this like as a secondary just for fun and uh, just to show people. People will get a kick out of it. Uh, maybe I'll convince my wife to carry it because I'm sure she'll think it's adorable. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a funny, funny little donut knife. So, um, all things considered, Everything went perfectly with Blade HQ this time. I should say that as well. Job well done to them. I used the two-day UPS shipping. They shipped it uh, within 24 hours of when I placed the order. It arrived within 48 hours of when they shipped it. Everything was great. Um, I did, as I've mentioned <laughs> in previous comments about them, I did have to pay sales tax, which I don't with all retailers. There are some states where apparently it is not legally required for them to charge California residents sales tax. In Utah, they do. Any retailer I would order from from Utah would have to. Um, on a purchase like this, the sales tax isn't as big of a deal, but if I'm shopping for a much more expensive knife, of course I'm going to go for the one that's not going to charge me an extra 10%. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. Um, but yeah, everything went great on this one. So I probably, I don't think I'll do a first impressions of this knife, um, but I will do a full review of it ultimately. Uh, it's just, it's probably going to take me a little bit extra time to do it because I'm not going to be carrying this every day for a week. Um, it's just not going to happen, especially with all the other knives I need to review right now. So anyways, here is my desert Dessert, d dessert warrior, <laughs> aka Boker. It's a pretty cool little knife, and uh, I'm excited that I finally have a donut knife in my collection. I have felt like I've been missing out in several ways because I didn't have one. So it's been remedied. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one.